Hey guys, welcome back to Biscuits Told to War. This is Biscuits giving you another tactics and tips video. Now today's tactics and tips video is to show you how to actually work out where the opposition has deployed before you start the battle. So when you start a battle, you can see exactly where obviously you're deploying your troops, but you can't see where the opposition has deployed until they click start and you click start and then they will just magically appear. By showing you how to do this, it'll hopefully give you a little bit of an upper advantage so you know exactly where they are and hopefully therefore you can counter that. Now one of the best things of showing you how to do this is in a free-for-all match because in a free-for-all match often people can gang up on you and basically you can get rushed from both sides. So if you know this little tactic, you hopefully it will give you that little edge that you might need. Now I heard about this little tip quite a while ago on one of the old message boards there was a guy from the the Sith clan I believe I think his name was 8ball or something like that he talked about using this tactic but he never actually showed us actually how to do it um, it was only Reed Dolphy uh, who actually showed me how to do this so I appreciate Dolphy for taking the time out and actually showing me this little tactic and tip it's not absolutely um, jaw dropping amazing but it might just give you that extra tip these guys that I'm playing with at the moment don't actually know what I'm doing uh, they don't realize that I'm actually just taking parts just to show you this little video I'm also going to show you how this would be handy in a 31k match how it works online which you're doing at the moment and secondly I'll also show you actually how to do this in the campaign battle so uh, between the examples, hopefully it will give you a good idea how it works, when to use it and how to use it. So, uh, right, what I'll do first of all, I'll just get my guys and shove them at the back. So what you need to do is you just move your cursor over to where the opposition is and then you press insert. Let's try and get somewhere near where they are and press insert if you found them it would then zoom them in zoom you in so it looks like I actually found the Julii to so insert there we go so it looks like the Julii I've got a unit here and what you can do you can also see where else they've deployed Sounds like they're there. So I'd imagine the Julii are deployed along here. Another little thing you can do by zooming in, you can actually hear the unit. So every so often, you might just hear some horses. It's really handy if you've got camels or elephants because you'll hear those. Let's see if we can try and find the, the SPQR player now. There we go, and the SPQR guy looks like he's deployed right at the far end of this, I believe. There we go, yep, he's deployed right here, and you can hear he's got horses, so that's where the SPQR is. And let's just quickly try and find this Spanish player before I get kicked. Looks like the Spanish guy's got some units here. There we go, so zoom back out here. Yeah, so I'm going to guess that we've got the Spanish guy, he's facing here, SPQR is at the back, and the Julii is near the front. So let's see if I'm right, let's hit click start battle. There we go, yep, so Julii was there, Spain was there and SPQR was far at the back. So it gives you a little example how it all works. Um, hopefully that was relatively simple. I'll give you a couple more demonstrations in a moment. Just want to finish this battle. Hey guys, so now I've showed you the online battle. I'm going to now show you a, a battle against the, the AI or the computer. And the logic is exactly the same for the campaign battles or quick battles or just any general battle. 
So uh, I've got my guys here. I'm just going to maximize my screen. Let's get rid of that. But what I want to do is make sure I've got this map here because it's going to be really handy. So if I hang around my units and press insert, it will just take me to my units. Fairly simple there. But what I'm going to do is go over to the opposition, which looks like it's the goals. I'm going to press insert. And what will happen is it will zoom it into the first unit it comes to. Now what you can also do is this little map here in the corner, you can actually expand that. So you can work out exactly where it is. So when you come out of the map, you know that it's just by that contour. And then you can also work out actually how far the line is stretched. So it looks like they've got some units up here. So they're stretching all the way along here. Let's find out how far. Have we got any units over here in the forest? They've got units here. Any more units? Sounds like they've got some horses right there. Some more units there. More units there. So it looks like they've pretty much got units from here stretched all the way up, I imagine. It's just shy of these trees here. So the way to find out if I'm right or not, let's click start battle. And you can see so they've got units stretched all the way down from there to there. And we also knew there were some horses here because when we zoomed in, we could hear those horses like we can hear them now. So yeah, that's another little tactic and tip there. So we've shown you how to do it online, showed you how to do it against the AI. Next thing I'll do, I'll show you how it can actually come into handy with the actual tactics against the actual opposition. Okay guys, now we're back on to an actual battle replay of a 31k game. And the reason why I wanted to show you this is just to show you the logic behind the actual tactic itself. So... With a, a 3 versus 3 game, what you'll tend to find is that it's rare that each player forms up right in the middle of each one of their deployment boxes. What you'll tend to find is that one of the players, like uh, Lucius has done him, he's deployed to the side so he's ready to join his allies. And often this player will be close to me, so there's often a big gap between the middle player and one of the guys on the, the wings. And that will mean that if the opposition knew that, they could potentially rush this player before he could meet up with myself and the middle player. So just to, to recap that again, often when you're doing a three versus three game, everyone won't deploy directly in the center. People would deploy to the edge of one of the boxes, which would mean that they will have to quickly rush to meet the other guys or vice versa. So what I've done when I played this game online, I used a little ta tactic, a little tip by using the insert button. And by doing that, I was able to work out where the players were actually deployed. So by doing the insert button, I was able to work out Macedon was deployed here. And you can actually hear them. If I zoom out and zoom in every so often, you can hear the horses. Or you can hear the, the the chain mail from the the pikes. Just about hear that that horse. And then what I did, I worked out that the middle player was also on the side here. And again, you can hear the horse, and you can hear the clink of the armor. So it sounds like the urbans are right nearly right by the horses. So you know that there's one player here, right on the edge. And then there's another player here. And then the third player, he deployed further back to try and match, 
catch up with his guys, his allies. And he was deployed around here. And I should be able to hear the actual horses. Even though I can't use the insert button at the moment because it's on a replay rather than actually playing live. So he was deployed around here. But if we knew that, or we decided to use that to our initiative, what we might have been able to do is get this Brutti I player and this Greek player to rush down here before the other guys could actually catch up. So what I'm going to do is going to put it onto normal speed, and you can hear the um, the horses now from this player here. Let's double speed it for two moments, just to see if I was right. I should be right, because I can match to actually hear the units. There we go. So you can see here that Mohammed was right on the wing here, ready to join up. As I said, you can hear the horses and you can hear the infantry. And then the Macedonian player, Cleo, was right on the side here. And I was able to work that out by using that insert button. So again, it gives you another little tip on how to do that in 31k. It can also be handy for CWB games, because in CWB, often what might happen is that the opposition will bring a skirmish based build if it brings a skirmish based build often there's going to involve horse archers and chariot archers and by using that insert button you can probably work out where the actual horse archers are if they have got the horse archers on either flank on either wing of the actual build so by doing that you can work out how far stretched they are and whereabouts they are or if they have deployed further back or if they're really close so hopefully that's something new for you guys, hopefully it's a little uh, tip there, I've tried to actually test the water before making this video to find out if some of the other guys knew about this and there's only a handful of people actually knew about it. So this is my gift to you guys, another little tactic, another little tip, um, please pass it on to your friends, uh, give the video another little watch if you don't understand what I'm talking about, if it's been any at all help leave a little comment, leave a little thumbs up, please check out my other tactics and tips videos and hopefully there's plenty more new stuff for you guys to pick up. So this biscuit signing off, wishing you all the best, hopefully this is an early little Christmas present for some of you guys, okay, bye now.